So, what's your name? I have no name. I am but two days old. Just kidding. You can call me V. Hey, this is Derek. So as the newest addition to the DMC roster, V is not only critical to the story, but he's also super fun to play and absurdly powerful. But due to his unique playstyle and how different he is from the other characters, he can be a bit tricky to micromanage, especially between the two familiars, Shadow and Griffin, and really make it a little bit tricky to get the most out of his toolkit. So I wanted to make a very short video just covering some basic and some of the more advanced tactics and techniques that helped me step up my gameplay and hopefully will help you as well. So let's just dive right in with tip number one, which is the general strategy of how to play. Basically with Shadow, you want to play him like he's a dumbed down version of Dante and Nero. You want him attacking at close range with his various combos and really making use of his launcher um, and other attacks. Now Griffin on the other hand is your big guns. He is basically going to be in the back using his range attacks which cover a wider area and do a ton of damage in and of themselves. So rather than just mashing the attack buttons with the two, the first thing you want to focus on is attacking with Shadow while using Griffin's charge moves from afar. He's basically in the back throwing nukes. Now tip number two is to get comfortable with Shadow's launcher. Make sure you're practiced and you can use this move Arbiter um, when and where you want to. The reason why the launcher is so important is because of Shadow's aerial attacks, Bayonet and Guillotine. They're extremely powerful, they do a ton of damage, and they're absolutely critical when it comes to boss fights. And without using Arbiter, it's really difficult to get Shadow in the air and take advantage of these two attacks. In terms of execution, I normally find it is more consistent to combo into Shadow's launcher after one or two hits of his melee combo, just like you would with Nero or Dante. Tip number three, building a repertoire and learning how to mix. Now what I mean by that is to essentially build a flow to your own attacks rather than just repeating the same sequence over and over again because that's going to stunt how quickly the style meter will raise. So how I did is I started out with Shadow, focusing on his different combos and his launcher, while really just using Blockade, Griffin's standard charge attack, over and over again. But over time, I managed to get a little bit more comfortable mixing things up with Shadow and layering in the rest of Griffin's toolkit to take advantage of the other charge moves that he has. Now, tip number four, buffering. So buffering is a technique used in fighting games where you input the action of the next move you want to come out during the animation of a move that's happening now so the next move comes out as quickly as possible. Now this can be applied to this game as well and specifically Shadow's Hedgehog move. It is a fantastic move, but basically if you're sitting there charging with Shadow, that means that he's not attacking and a brunt of your offense is actually missing from the fight. But what we can do is we can use this buffering technique during certain moves that have a longer animation. You basically hold down that attack button once you initiate the attack, Hedgehog is going to be charging so that as soon as Shadow finishes his attack, Hedgehog is ready to go. So for example, you can use moves like Breakthrough, his combo B, Skewer, and even Arbiter and Guillotine from the air. By buffering Hedgehog's charge time within these other moves, you could take advantage of this move without ever having to stop attacking with Shadow. Now it's also worth noting that Griffin can also leverage this as well. For example, his lock-on plus forward move, which is flank attack, can also be used to buffer some of his other charge moves as well, so definitely be sure to take advantage of that. And finally, don't forget 
to read. Make sure that you bust out this book every single chance you get because it's free Devil Trigger. And above all, it is absolutely badass. And remember that as soon as you summon Nightmare, if Griffin and Shadow have been down for any reason, they will be instantly revived. So it makes it absolutely pivotal for boss fights. Okay, that's all the tips I have for this video. I hope you found those helpful. Make sure you subscribe to catch more DMC5 content, tips and tricks videos coming your way. And if you ever want to hang out on Twitch, I stream Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday nights at 7 p.m. Eastern until midnight and Saturday mornings. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.